Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Into the Indies. This is our third episode, and today we're reviewing um, You Have to Win the Game. Uh, this game uh, is a game where it's like a 2D scroller, and you have to run and jump and dodge obstacles and solve puzzles uh, to gain new abilities, which allows you to do more of run, jumping, and solving puzzles until you eventually beat the game. And the whole purpose of the game is to like figure out the code, which is hidden in the game yeah. through the puzzles and such. So, uh, we'll start with gameplay. I rated it a 7, because you can't stop playing it. It's really addictive. You, like, you, the, it, the title <laughs> describes it really well. You have to win this game. Um, but, and it's rewarding and everything. Like, when you get new abilities, or you finish a certain difficult part and get to the checkpoint. But, it's really, really annoying at times. So, the gameplay can get really annoying, and just piss you off. Mm -hmm. So that's why I rated it a seven and not higher. So moving on to immersion, this game isn't really one that you're like immersed in because it, like you said, it's a 2D scroller. So you can't be connected to your character. You don't really care if you die because you have unlimited lives, stuff like that. But at the same time, there's this cutscene at the beginning that shows you kind of like moving up into an older computer screen. So the immersive quality of that is really high because it actually, with the graphics and everything, it makes you feel like you are playing on an old computer, an old game, kind of, you know, like Nintendo 64, -y, which I really like. So, uh, the quality of immersibility in that, where you think you're playing on an old, old computer, is really high, but you don't feel connected to your character. It gives you a really retro feel. Yeah. Uh, I did Satisfaction. <laughs> I rated this a freaking one. <laughs> because this game will piss you off. I mean, it's not as bad as uh, I want to be the guy, but it will surely cause at least one rage fit and one or multiple rage quits during the playthrough of this game. Definitely. Um, I also did graphics. I rated that a nine. Not that these graphics are particularly high quality, but they fit the game and the style of game that it is. Yes. So they're high quality for the, you know, kind of 8-bit style that they've tried to model this game after, but exactly. it's kind of like a modernized 8-bit. Plus the neonness of it is, it makes it, I don't know. I, it just I like fits it. the game really like well. Yeah. So uh, moving on to audio, we rated this a 6. Now, the sounds in the game for when you die, when you jump, when you hit stuff, all of that are good. I liked them. They weren't annoying where you, like, you know, you mute the... The, the game after playing it for a little bit, but there wasn't like a really cool soundtrack or anything to really, you know, get you playing. So, um, it, yeah, just a six for audio. Yeah. Um, difficulty. So this game is actually extremely difficult. We rated it a nine. Now, there's a YOLO mode that makes it so that you can only die once and then it like resets your player and everything. And um, yeah, no. Not possible. I don't think I could do it. Ever. But it, it isn't as hard as, like, you know, I want to be the guy, but it's still extremely difficult. But that makes it fun. For those of you who have never played I Want to Be the Guy, in that game, you can literally die multiple times just in the loading screen to get to the first level. So that's, that's the kind of difficulty we're comparing it to. Um, price... It's free, so we rated it a 10, you know, not that hard. Yeah. Uh, replayability is a 2 or a 3. Um, you can replay it maybe to try to win it all without dying, or there's like a cat mode that gives you like 9 lives. So you could try to do it in that, where you try to, you know, finish the game at 9 lives after you've beaten it the first time, but it's not a game that you want to go back and play over and over and over again, because after a while you'll just get really good at each of the levels and it just won't be fun anymore. Uh, controls. I rated them a 10 because it's literally four keys, W, A, S, D, or the arrow keys. So it's not complicated. It works well. The controls, like there's not like lag or anything. So it, they're not difficult to learn. They're not difficult to use. So it's 10 on that. Yeah, overall, this was a fun, addicting game that, you know, you can sit down and definitely play for a while. But yeah, I mean, not something that I would go and play over again. But it was, it was fun. What did you think? I thought it was fun. Um, I also thought that I wanted to kill myself in playing it. Uh, so, you know, it was, it was good though. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching uh, Into the Indies, uh, this week's review of 
you have to win the game. I am the Tranquil Gamer, and he is the Chaotic Gamer. Go check out our channels. We play video games for fun, and yeah, you know, so you guys can watch those. Also, stay, stay subscribed to Better Than Coffee to check out the other um, videos from our schoolmates, and give this video uh, comments and rate it, and we'll see you guys next time on Into the Indies.